If you followed our channel, you know that sometimes we like to get way down in the weeds about how to fuel our sports well, like way down detailed rabbit holes. But sometimes you just need a good list. So here's your top five things to look for in your endurance fuel and hydration products. Number five. First and foremost, you want a product that's easy to consume. It should be something you can quickly and comfortably take in during your training without causing any discomfort or difficulty. Remember, the goal is to optimize your performance, not slow you down. Number four, caffeine. Caffeine can be a useful addition to your endurance fuel or pre-training, but it's not for everyone. If you're considering adding caffeine, six mg per kg is a safe upper limit before training. Just be cautious it doesn't interfere with your sleep. Not sure what an appropriate amount of caffeine is during training? Check out our video on it. Number three, the glucose fructose ratio. The glucose fructose ratio in your product is important, especially when you're consuming a lot of carbs. If you're taking in less than 60 grams per hour, the ratio is less crucial, but a mix of glucose and fructose is still beneficial. When you push up near 100 or 120 grams per hour, you need to aim to move the needle up from a two to one, closer to a one to one mix of glucose to fructose. If you're not sure how to think about this ratio, watch our video on sugar words in endurance supplements to learn how to calculate sugar composition. Some basic sugar words you need to look for are sucrose, which is glucose plus fructose, dextrose, which is just glucose, and maltodextrin, which is lots of glucose all strung together. Keep an eye out for these ingredients when selecting a product. Number two is sodium. Sodium is essential, especially if you plan on sweating during your training. Look for a product that provides 700 to 1500 milligrams of sodium while you're hitting your target hourly carbs. If you're not familiar with the basic sodium recommendations during training, check out our video on it. If you're targeting over a thousand milligrams of sodium, opt for some or all of it to come from sodium citrate and not table salt. Number one is rapidly absorbable carbohydrates. You want a product that allows you to target 60 to 140 grams of carbs per hour while avoiding GI distress. Look for rapidly absorbable carbs like sucrose, glucose and fructose, maltodextrin, and possibly even dextrin. Not sure how many carbs you need during training? Check out our video on how many carbs you should eat during training. Let's come up and sit. Okay, look at the camera. Okay, here we go. This is Dash. And there you have it, the top five things to look for in your endurance, fuel, and hydration products. Make sure to consider these factors when selecting the best fuel and hydration products for your training and for your racing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful tips and tricks. See you next time.